What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, we're here at Trevor Motion Autos TV shop once again. If you guys remember last time we were here, we built this B20 CRV. We ended up turboing this thing in three days, going up the Pikes Peak, trying to boost as much as we could, but sadly, it's like a T3, T4 flange, and it just, the bolts just kept coming out of the manifold. The eBay manifold wasn't really doing it for us, so this time around, we actually have a fully built GSR engine with a G25 turbo. Honestly, sky's the limit with this thing. I mean, I'm shooting for four, 500 horsepower in two days. We have all of the stuff here that we'll show you in a second, but before before we get any further, Trevor and I, we came up with another collab t-shirt. This is gonna be for sale for only one week. If you guys want this, don't sleep on it because once we're done selling it, they're gonna be gone for good. You guys loved the junk wagon t-shirt and everyone that didn't buy one was super bummed. So if you want one of these, it also gets you entered to win this GTR R35 right here, right now. Check this thing out. So you guys have six more days to get entered to win this. And if you buy this shirt, that automatically gets you entered to win this car as well. Just know by you buying this shirt, you're not only supporting Trevor, you're also supporting me. And it kind of just allows us to do things like this. Like this allows us to justify driving all the way out to Colorado, getting my truck almost totaled, having to buy a new bed, all of that stuff. And we're able to do all of this stuff because of you guys and supporting through the merch, supporting through Trevor's giveaways. We've been working together a lot, building together, and there's just more and more to come. Every time we come here, we have better plans and we know how to attack them better. So I just want to thank everyone that's going to support us through this. And if you guys want your junk shirt, definitely go down in the description below, check it out, get one. You only have one week, but let's go check out the GSR. Boys, as you can see, we have this B18 GSR engine that we're gonna be putting into the CRV. Our goal is obviously to finish this thing in one to two days. There's a couple things that we're missing, but we can really utilize that B20 and take everything that we need from that engine to this, because between B18s, B20s, I mean, it's kind of like Legos at this point. The only really hard thing we have to do, and it's not even hard, is we just have to run the VTEC solenoid to the S300, but that's just a wire away and a program away, so that'll be all good. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start tearing the engine out of the B20, trying to figure out exactly what we need for this, and what we can steal from that, and what we need to order from turn 14, because they have super fast shipping, and get this thing ready, so let's hit it. Oh man, here we right. go. Drop that engine. I know, no, I'm stoked. What are we doing? I don't know, what we do is we take it. Oh, he's not in here. We take it and we put it in the what? office. And we put it right here and we stick it right on the computer. Oh, God. Wait, where is he? Stick it, stick it. No, that's it. my computer. It's, it's, it's just this. It's just where that. is he? We'll just, he's in the bathroom. Dude, he's been in the bathroom for 25 minutes. Okay, he's going to come out and he's going to see that. He's going to shit. It's going to be fine. You think so? No, no, you should do. 
as soon as he comes out, throw it at him. What if we, no, what if we put him there? He's coming, I think. He's coming. Is he, is he, is he, is he coming? Drop something from the ceiling in the bathroom? Is he coming? I don't know. Is there a way to drop something from the ceiling? Oh, that would be fun. I think we should put a paper towel over it, because then he'll lift up the paper towel. Okay. Yeah, do it. Make it look like there's food on there. Hold on. What do you think the game plan is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I should just climb on top of there and drop it on this. Oh. I'll do it if you want. You need to do that. And then he puts it here. Go get it, Jen. Go get the cool one. Oh. Company time, Hey, Trevor is yeah, business guy. They pay me a dollar. Oh, I make a dollar, <laughs> boss makes a dime. That's why I should. Company <laughs> this ain't gonna work. Nice rat, dude. Thank you. I'm not even gonna touch that thing. Hey, man, whose backpack is this? Uh, Trevor's. <sighs> I'll kill you. CRV. I'll kill you. It's going in the CRV. In the CRV, I'll kill you. I have to work on it. Oh, it sucks. That wasn't that fun. You think this thing's just gonna drop? Find out one. Hopefully that jack is pretty good. Oh, the B20, it didn't, we didn't really do much with it just because this turbo kept getting loose. Like literally we drove this thing for maybe 20 minutes and it just would rattle loose, but we got that V-band now, so we should be good. V-band turbo smart, all of that. Do you think it's gonna fall or do you think the jack's holding it up? Well, that's a tight boy, huh? Really? That's how you feel, huh? Jesus. Dude, that's wild. That thing's f***ing on there, huh? Even the watch is pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you really had to put the boy arms into that one, dude. I consider that a dub. Now we just need these two posts and we're f***ing out. You, we should probably just lower the jacks first. And then once these are on the ground, then we lift it up, you know? Oh, it's also the transit in the subframe, so that's holding us up too. Like it's like holding the motor from flipping forward. Here, go. Nice and slow. <laughs> How's it looking? This is ghetto, dude. Oh, mine's falling. I'm good over here. How's it looking? Oh boy. What's going on over there? I'm out. Oh, right, just let's lower more. Come over this way. Oh, I know we are hitting the sub right I was gonna say we can push it over this way. I'm really trusting that jack. I know. <laughs> All right, that's good. Oh boy. Wait, we're falling, dude. We're falling. We're <laughs> falling. <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna fall face first right into the fucking ground. How are you looking over there? I'm looking okay. No, we're good. I'm thinking we're on the ground, baby. I think we're on the ground, dude. Gotta oh, start wait. going up on the lift a little? Yep. Here, go under, Bailey. It's gonna fall. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What was that? Oh, oh you, you forgot the fuel temperature for the power steering. Alright, oh. we're out, we're all the way up, dude. Not bad. Goodbye to the B20. So, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this over in the corner. We gotta pull the trans off because uh, it's the all wheel drive one. We gotta get all of that situated, kinda get the GSR over here and kinda just see what we need from here to put onto the GSR. All right, so in our heads, you know, usually it's like, oh, you know, it's a B20, B18, Legos, everything should work. But there's always just like little things that you have to change and stuff. So, for example, obviously we're changing turbos and stuff. This one was just some junk turbo, junk eBay turbo that we didn't care about. 
So we didn't run coolant lines. Um, we just ordered some things from turn 14 to make some actual AN coolant lines. We have to figure out where to route those. We have to flip the core because that's the return side. And we're also gonna have to extend the return line because you see this one's super tiny. But thankfully we bought some Dash 10 from Drift HQ for when my oil line dragged on the ground. So we have plenty of that. But the oil line, obviously, the oil return is much longer and we're definitely gonna need a fire sleeve. Hey Trev. You got any Dash 10 fire sleeve? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Perfect. So that fixes that. Trevor, you, you know what this is? We're assuming this is oil, but for what? These oh, two so passages? That's a, so that's a vent. It's basically a crankcase ventilation. Oh. If you look on the back. For a the catch other, can? Yeah. Oh, cool. Do you have a catch can, a Dash 10? Yeah. Do you actually? Mm -hmm. Cool. Can I buy that off you? Mm. Dang, look at that, dude. Okay. Oh, yeah, we were just going to block it. Look over that block right there. Look at that. Is that busted off? Dude, don't say that. What do you mean? Looks a little... No, that's fine. It's custom. That's an OEM, bro. They gave it a whack or something. <laughs> you need to relax with that, my friend. Look at that. Yeah, that's custom. That's yeah. full custom right there. I think there. somebody gave this thing the port. The yeah. big time no, port. I mean, I Is don't... Remember the the situation we had the last time with like the throttle cable? And, Dude, like, I was literally just telling them that. And then now, like, we're, we're going to have to deal with it again. I know. And that was honestly the hardest part of the build. Yeah, that, that, was, that was pretty much it. So the oil feed's gonna be easy. We're just gonna take that pressure sensor off right there. And how do, we already so the, have something to team The big that. question is, how do you even know like how good this thing is? That's we what don't. I was, that's what I was just We're saying. Just, I mean, look at that. Valve springs, retainers, how you doing? Dude, it's a fully forged engine. Cams? Looks like it's got cams in it. Does it have cams? I think so. It's fully built, I think. This thing's gonna rip. Dude, you think so? This thing's gonna rip, <laughs> The G25, what are, you, what are you hoping for? I mean, 400. It'll make four. I th it's it's gonna hit really hard at the bottom, so I'm glad it has rods in. I mean, I hope it has rods. In. <laughs> but like, uh, it's you don't want to window this thing. No, this thing's gonna hit so hard. So this is a G25 550 with a .70 AR exhaust housing. So just for reference, on our last giveaway car, we had the G3660 with a 1.1 AR exhaust housing, and that thing ripped. Yeah, on like and this is smaller. 12 pounds. So it should rip harder in the low end. It's going to be, and it's probably going to fall off up top. Because yeah. a GSR head is like the one of the best flowing cylinder heads. It's, they just, they work so what do you so think well. this should rev to like 9,500? Not this turbo, but the... I mean, yeah, it'll rev to 9,500. Uh, we were talking to my tuner, Steve, and he, he basically said, he's like, yeah, this thing's probably going to hit a wall at like 7,000 RPM. And this exhaust manifold is just going to be glowing red. You think so? It, either that, yeah. That's probably. not good. I don't or love that. Everything's going to be going out of the wastegate too. So that's the other thing is we got a 45 mil gate on it. So a lot will be bypassing it, but still that's a lot of volume to go through a tiny exhaust. So like it, that exhaust <laughs> wheel is tiny. Like yeah, it's a 49 it mil exhaust wheel. It's kind of <laughs> it, look, it looks big like, until you see the compressor. This is spoolie boy though. It's good. It's gonna be like a diesel truck. Like, yeah. have you ever, <laughs> Instant torque. Have you ever driven a Focus ST? I have, yeah. Or like an SRT4 where it's just like whoosh. Yeah, like instant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, it's gonna be That's cool. kinda cool though. But, like, so I mean, this would be the perfect SR turbo is what you're saying. Yeah, and then honestly, in a CRV, you kinda want that torque. Well, you do because it's all wheel drive, so you want that instant hit, mm -hmm. you so know? If you want uphill like Pike's Peak, it'll be perfect. Oh, we need, definitely have to hit torque. Pike's Peak again. Yeah. That's the, gonna be the move. Or if you're towing, imagine when you're towing your side by side with this thing. Like, <laughs> no, we're, we're talking about side by sides. It's bad. When me and Trevor together, it's bad. Towing the LS car to events. Dude, imagine that this is the sick. tow rig, brother. That'd be, that be sick. Kind of cool. I actually do like that, but that's another story for another day. What do you think about the feed line? Did this look at the feed did line this real thing quick? Get cleaner. Probably. <laughs> Does that like it looks kind of clean up there on the lip? Oh, like, Trevor's right. getting jealous again. Looks like it got polished. It Trevor's back. getting jealous again. <sighs> He was so sad when we ended up making a deal with this thing. He's like, man, now I want it again. But, I mean. You're going to be real jealous after this. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about this feed line? Yeah, Brent? that's a banjo fitting. This is an yeah, thing. what do you think about that? Trev the Wizard. What do we do? Think so we can either swap this rail on it or we should see. That's not fun. Look at this Actually, fancy eagle rail. Is it eagle? Yeah, look at that. They, they chopped the intake manifold <laughs> to put that rail, that return fitting Bro, on it. That's full custom. sketchy. Full, full custom. custom. That's what some sketchy case. stuff. You uh, gotta relax with that. So what we could do is I think the fuel filter is a banjo. Yes. Yeah. So we might be able to convert that to a six and. Okay. There's probably like a fitting somewhere. Yeah. That okay. could make it work for some reason. You think it in this shop? We'll figure something. So worst case scenario, I have a, a six and to a barb. Okay. So like we could just yeah. make it work. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter as long as it we'll doesn't leak. We'll figure it out. And then it's one of those things too, like we could, 
We'll get her running, and then we'll make we'll it just, work. We'll order. Hey, we made we'll this thing some... work, and we did make it up Pike's Peak. The turbo may or may not have fallen off, but we did it. How did you actually look? There's only one bolt. That's a nightmare, dude. What should we do with this? I feel like this is a great setup. Put it on like a go kart or something. So I have. We could put this in that uh, power wheels over there. To shut the f up, this engine. <laughs> this is bigger than the whole you know, power we wheels. Put it in like a bigger go kart. I, what like could like we the do LS, with like put how the LS swap buggy. Yeah, that'd be sick. This would be sick. I have an EK hatch. That's a shell over there. Mm -hmm. it needs an engine. We could put it in there, and then we could we could give it away. Yeah, is that what you want to do? Okay. Well, you have, we would have you, to. You have a transmission right there. We'd have to perfect have this it. Thing. Like we'd have to perfect all this nonsense right. and like right. actually make it rip. Yeah. Well, the problem was is we just didn't have very much time. Look at that gasket. You no, know, we literally built this in out. two days, which is impressive. There was no bolt yeah. in the downpipe. Yeah, they all came. It just came. Yeah, no, everything came. I think the turbo is fine though. Like it, it was boosting for yeah, a no, while. Yeah, no, it boosted good. We, we were on E, right? We were on E. We were on E. And it worked. Not bad. All right, well, we're going to come up with a game plan. First things first is we're going to rip the transmissions off because that's a front wheel. That's all wheel. Yeah, we'll see what clutch is better, too. Yeah, this no, that's a spec clutch. Okay. Pretty sure it's a spec. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine, Should right? Should we pull the pan on that thing and look? That's what I was like, thinking. Like, look in there. Okay. See if there's any things that... Will that make you feel better be? about life? I mean... Probably. Okay. I yeah. mean, it, I would rather. Yeah, we'll pull well, the pin. I like that. Especially because if I'm playing, if I'm touching buttons, and then we'll know what rods is in it and stuff. I like yeah, that. I yeah. Like let's that pull the pan. Let's jack this up. We'll pull the pan and let's see what we'll rods are in it. Rod Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Look at this, Chris working over here. Oh. Getting his hands dirty. I'm honestly so sketched out that we're doing it this way. I've done it before. Yeah, but like if this thing is like fully forged, it's like a GSR. I think it's my fully forged motor. Sketchy, dude. I'm yeah. just saying, it's just I sketchy. had mine all the way up as high as it could go, so I go under it. Yeah, this isn't the most ideal. You think it's forged or you think they lied? I mean, the whole head's built. It's got the... It's gotta be. It has to, right? And the fact that I was able to spin the motor over it, it's, it's definitely built for boost, so... What do you think the rods are? You think they're junk rods? Or you think they're like mainly? Nah, man, they're for sure, dude. I got full feet. <laughs> Alright, there's a whole spare motor right there. <laughs> <laughs> Doing great. Thanks, dude. Yeah, we should have jacked it up a little more, but. Fancy, too. It's even got the adjustable. I know. Cam. Dude, this thing's built. It has to be. I mean, most people that even build motors, they don't even bother with that. Oh, yeah, so it had the comp clutch. It didn't have the, the spec clutch. So oh. It's not the best thing in the world, but. It's not the worst, at least it's clutch, right? We're gonna see how much power it takes, right? Oh yeah, yeah we We're are. putting that thing to its test. I mean, this thing's even like, they even want the extra mile to do the stupid little cover first so you don't Dude, see I'm all this. You, this is it. Like, Dude, we're about to find out, Trevor. They, right? they cut this open and they ported it. What are we taking out? Oil pan. You know, what are you thinking, mainly? You think an Eagle? I don't know, what did you say? Probably, I don't know. I don't remember, dude. I literally bought this like two and a half years ago. <laughs> how did the oil look? Black. Black. Look on your glove. Black. That look okay? Uh, what is that? I think that's foam. Mm. No, that's it? probably from touching this thing. It's all grimy. Dude, that looks like metal, no? No. no. Yeah, we're gonna find out if she's blown in a minute. We're though. gonna find out in one second. Shake those Should rods. Sh shake there? those rods real good. <laughs> the dino's good. Yeah, how's the dino going? <laughs> we got a little distracted with the Jetta. Yeah, put it in the Jetta. Oh, oh, oh buddy. No, no, no. I, no, I'm you've been distracted oh. all day, bro. <laughs> all right, Trav, get that light out. Oh, oh, oh hey, 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 oh. I see something built. I yep. see a stud. Oh, yeah. Let's see some rods. Oh, dude, oh, she's yeah. built. That is built unit right there. Yeah, she's got ARP studs. Fully built, dude. Fully oh, built. I mean, that's stock you know, baffle. Pick up, but you know what we don't have a new oil pan gasket. Oh, Riley's has them. <laughs> oh yeah, let's just leave it here. On the <laughs> 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 there is pistons. Oh, that's a good sign. But what do you think about this? You ready? Oh yeah. I have some new, I have some new O-rings we could put on that. So that is like the oil drain back. So factory, there's like a catch. There's like an oil catch thing and it like vents into here and then it drains back to the block right there. Mm. So we'll just put some like better O-rings on that. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a little bit of Loctite around it and then press it in and it should be good. RTV. Well, yeah, a little RTV. Um, is it. O'Reilly's open? It's eight. Till nine. Well, we can go get Zinni Boys anyways. I know you've been fiending all day. You know the Zinni Boys, huh? It looks yeah. like we're going to out. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go to O'Reilly's. We're going to get the oil pan gasket. We're going to leave this, get some Zinni boys. We'll be back. 1 a.m., dude. The rave was going, but we just shut the rave off. 
We're cooking some birds, dude. It's 1 a.m. Some 1 a.m. birds. Nice, dude. Why are you raiding this shit? Well, we're getting birds. Okay, cool. What are you talking about? Fine, yeah, you don't get a bird. Lettuce wraps? I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, look at this guy. Lettuce wraps? Here lettuce go. wraps? And some G3. Oh, he yeah, we're gluten free parts. this week. Gluten free. Dang, Trev set up a whole lift. Check it out on his channel. This, this dude is the master of all trades, I'll tell you. Alright, do you think it's gonna work? So here's here's the thing. In really? most hydraulic stuff, doesn't have to be perfect. He just went for <laughs> Yo, this is ghetto, dude. Go, Charles, dude. what are you doing over here, bro? Just cooking some bergs, buddy. Like a <laughs> With the one like, nap, though, bro. Like a 1 a.m. With wait. some lettuce bergs? Yeah, lettuce bergs. We're gluten free for the week, dude. You, you live in you know, you know, we do have lights out here, right? Lettuce bergs. Oh. We have I iPhones, yeah. I think so, right? Well, we yeah, right. some lights up, up yeah, top. You know, you know how those work? There's a light switch. You know the coyotes are going to come out for the birds? Yeah. This is a disaster. We got Matt. Cooking burgers. Bailey's oh, eating raw know. meat in there. <laughs> Bailey couldn't wait, so he grabbed a like a half. Dude, you have fucking diarrhea at 4 a.m., dude. Listen, man, I'm all the I'm the man for the rare steak, but burger patties you don't <laughs> eat rare, bro. <laughs> you just don't. Yeah, no, you get your burgers medium rare. No, that's what I do. Dude, hey, you're eating raw. Dude's meat. eating pink flesh in there. I know, <laughs> bro. That's you in it when you order a medium rare. Burgers need to be done. I hate well done, but like burgers need to be cooked. Nah, bro. medium rare. Dude, it's ground up bull. <laughs> it's not. It's not. You don't get any benefit from eating medium Is done, rare dude? ground meat. Uh, I don't know. Those look done. I'll take some raw ones. Give me some raw ones. Uh, you want this boy? Yeah. What other boy you want? G give me this boy. That, that one looks good. All right, bro. Hell yeah, brother. I'm gonna go get my lettuce and pickles and we're good. Thank you. All right, guys. So it is the next morning. We grinded last night, dude. We did till like two in the morning. Yeah, I was a little nervous because I felt like we were behind a little bit. Like we, the engine got out and everything. That's all good. But like we still had to like figure out so much. Yeah. But the fact that like we just straight on put a rave on in here and just went to town, we got a lot done. But we were supposed to put the engine in last night. We ended up cooking Bergs instead. So here we are. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna drop this engine in gsr swap crv 400 horsepower trevor and i were having a race can he get his dyno done first or can we fully gsr swap the f crv first i think we're in first I place think, yeah i think so yeah. yeah i mean hey trevor did get his lift installed and everything he did it himself i was sitting there all day yesterday i know all i had to do is plug in a couple wires somehow we all get motivation at like 8 p.m like you were working all day but like 8 p.m i was like yo it's grind time, so, but because well, there's no, there's nothing to do at night. Yeah, yeah. So like, oh, I guess we have to work. Yeah, you really can't procrastinate <laughs> life forever, so you kind of just like, okay, like now we gotta really get shit done. But this is going in right now. Let's get it done. Ave is on. How's this going, dude? It sucks. Yeah, this is ghetto. You can't let go, huh? No. No. <laughs> Yo, Trevor, invest in the table jack, dude. This is what we're working with right now. All right, never mind. F us. That was sketchy. Very. So, uh, we, uh, we almost, resorted. We almost lost the motor on those. Yeah, no, it was bad. Somehow, Trevor has everything under the sun other than table jack. We found this in the junkyard. We put him on the apex wheels because apex wheels are f***ed anyways. And we have this ratchet strap down to the wheels. <laughs> and we got some ghetto old 25-year-old caster wheels that barely spin. But yeah, they were stuck in the dirt, so. This is good, though. This is definitely better than we're at. Now we'll get it in. Slow, 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 stop. No, slow, slow. Turbo. Just put a turbo on top of the motor so you don't take your line out. Take five for us. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, what'd you do? Oh, it's because those things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's because they're freaking, what do you call it, magnetized to this thing. It's a good turbo. All right. Stop. What are we hitting? Just leave it right there. We hit the little bucket here. That was fun. Yeah, it was yeah that was real fun. Tell him how it happened. Well, me and Bailey, we were struggling a little bit because he didn't have a table jack, so Trevor came in. Good old mm. Trev came and saved the day. Seems like he's used to not having that table jack. I know, he is pretty used to it. He's pretty I've, good at the no table jack. I've done about 31 years of no table jack, and I've been fine. Well, you, you have 31 years of experience. We have zero. Point, We've done a couple in our minutes. time. No, we always had a table jack. Always. No. Yes. Wait, always yeah, had table you, jack. At the you, Florida shot, yeah, we, we always did. had table jacks, and it was awesome. Well, maybe you need to gift me a table jack. Maybe I will. Table, well, our when's, table, oh, table dude, jack. Dude, your birthday just. Yeah, a little birthday table jack. A little birthday table little jack? Birthday jack? Maybe. That would be nice. That's actually not you a bad idea. You throw away the like strap. Gotta go get the Jetta. Yeah, let's go get the Jetta. Oh, uh, just a little more procrastination. How's that dino going, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> 8 p.m., that dude will be.
set up computers and stuff till 3 a.m. We'll probably be the same way. We're probably grinding this thing out and <laughs> running by the end. Of Yo, I'm trying to hill climb by the end of today, brother. Oh, it's going. You gonna start welding soon, or <laughs> Bailey's gonna can, do a little you, quick clips? Can you cut? Can you cut and fit pipe? No. Why? It gonna come out good. What? You can He's just, not very experienced. He'll do it. He's a really good no, guy. No, how about this? Better. What you need is you need a fabricator. He, that's him. Okay, I need. Dude, he told me he used to weld, right? <laughs> I that doesn't need. Mean I cut him. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I need some money for some tuition. So what we'll do, we'll just run him through the training school over here on the CRV. We'll get her done. Okay. You're the fabricator, aren't you? He'll he'll run you through it. I'll run Why doesn't he just do it? He's fabricator. He's he's I got, um. I got he's busy I got procrastinating. A, I got a dino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get it again. I gotta go pick up my jet. Well, let's get, a, let's get, get the whole thing together first, and then we'll worry about the exhaust later. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be last thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not really. You know, we we could just do it, literally all it is. The way that it's gonna be a V band, a ninety, and then a ninety, and then straight back. And yep. even, even if we just go a little bit back, then at least it'll be down there. I would love a full straight pipe through that tractor, like full straight. Full straight. Buddy. Could probably make that. Oh, dude, this gonna rip. Yeah. It's it's really you know what would actually be kind of cool? It's, it's like so loud. <laughs> the stock exhaust with a three inch, like a dump. Underneath, it'll be like stock exhaust. You drive it around and it's quiet, like it was. I do like that, but we'll have too much back pressure for 400. Well, you're not gonna, you would open the valve as soon as you were gonna do anything. As soon as you're gonna do a pull, Wait, you'd open the valve. We're talking about valves now? We're gonna put like a, a flapper? Valve yeah. Really, like Jesus. Like Christ. a dump. I mean, so then we could use you the stock exhaust. You know how to do all of that? You have that? Stealth ready. I love that. But do you know how to do all that? It's just a throw. We just need a thing. And you think Amazon has one? <laughs> Here we go. Valved exhaust. You know, It'll be like a Lamborghini. Kind of stock, dude? You know, kind of stock. Might. Yeah, there it is. Well, Doesn't have a table jack, but he has a valve for CRVs. A, a valved exhaust. I'm trying to think if I have one. There's one on the Civic. Oh, perfect. We'll just rip it off. Yeah, just take it We're only taking thing. half the parts off that yeah, already. I don't, yeah. I don't know what to say about that. I'm going to go get my Jetta. All right, yep. Yeah. We'll start plugging away. We'll see you in a couple hours. Yep. Nice shirt. All right, guys. So Bailey and I have been grinding away on the GSR CRV swap. And to say the least, we got really far. But how many problems do we have? A lot. We have a lot of problems. <laughs> so right now we have this 1320 manifold. As you can see, the wastegate isn't really in a good position. You can see that it's going directly towards the fan. You can see that we don't really have much room to make a downpipe. The B20 and the B18 power steering brackets are different. So we need a B18 power steering bracket. Our fuel line. This was an AN line and we need a banjo, so we need to figure that out. There's a bunch of little things that we just can't figure out right now and we really don't want to rush this because this is a forged GSR built head. This thing is ready to rev to 9,500 RPMs. It's a lot of money just to kind of like throw things together and I was actually talking to Ben from Artec Performance and he kind of shed some light on me and he was like, listen, run my manifold. Trevor has an extra manifold there. Grab that one. Grab a different turbo because the G25, this thing is going to choke up if we end up revving to 9,500 RPMs, which this thing is more than capable of doing. So he kind of was like, what's the point of running the G25 turbo, building a downpipe, building a wastegate, doing all of that stuff for the wrong turbo for this car? Because by the right turbo, actually rev the 9,500, build this thing properly, do it once, do it right. And I was like, you know what, Ben? That's kind of a great idea. So big shout out to Artec Performance. They are hooking me up with the manifold. We're actually buying the correct turbo today and instead of rushing this making a hood dump doing stupid stuff for slush we're gonna take a step back we're getting that turbo it'll be here actually one of Trevor's buddy has the correct turbo that we need so we're gonna get the turbo we're gonna put the Artec manifold onto this and we're gonna do it right it's still gonna be done next week it's just not gonna be done for slush right there I was gonna save that for next video well but here it is not open the box yeah no I'm super excited so for it this is the same manifold that was on the giveaway car the last one the EK yep. hatch so we had wastegate AC just everything worked good we were able to do an intake pipe with an air filter yeah look at this you can't even put an air filter on this because we are running the AC and stuff the eBay one just isn't cutting it yeah yeah. to say the least yeah i mean if this was like a gutted civic wouldn't matter but like this thing has potential to be like super cool super fast you know and like for us to kind of just throw it together like we well, have I, I think like the first version of this was fun was the fun throw it together exactly and now the second this is version like, let's get real yeah and so with the manifold, with the turbo, with the wastegate, potentially the intercooler, I got a nice treadstone intercooler over there. Yeah, no, Ben did shed some light too, like having cheap intercoolers, um, they create a lot of back pressure because they don't flow properly. So you're actually overworking your turbo, trying mm -hmm. to make it breathe through. I mean, dude, this intercooler is what, like $70 on the internet? Yeah, it was something like that. Well, and then also with it being like a 9,000 RPM GSR. It's gonna choke On up. boost, yeah. this thing is gonna be ripping, so. We got some parts in stock. 
Motionoutperformance.com. Yeah, that's where we're getting Turbo Baby? That's where it's coming. Ooh, check it out. But no, big shout out to Ben in Artec Performance for actually hooking me up with this and stuff. And I'm really excited to be working with them. I'm really excited to be doing this right and not half ass. And like this thing's gonna be it's rowdy, gonna be dude. Rowdy. It's gonna be a rally car too. You ready for that? Oh, I'm ready for it. This thing's gonna, like we're thinking about putting big tires on. 450, 500 in the CRV is gonna be mad, and I'm really excited to show you guys that. I'm really excited to share it with you. Stay tuned for that soon. We actually have to work on the truck today. We gotta work on the E36, so stay tuned for that video tomorrow. This is gonna be on the back burner for the weekend, so we can go drifting at Slush. We can get the drift car ready. But Monday, we're gonna have everything in stock to actually properly do this. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video we'll see you guys in the next one we'll see you be guys. at slush tomorrow wait it's today. today i hope you're at slush see ya <laughs>